Salutations my friends, hello and welcome back everybody to Sky Factory 2.5 with me, Buster. I hope this finds you well. Um, and I have encountered a problem, and not even a light one, a slightly one. It is really a bad problem. Um, uh, somehow there is no longer hostile mob spawning at spawn. So, nothing happens here. When you look at the at the entity count at the top left corner, it says 3 out of 18, and that number won't move at all. So, uh, I watched it now for quite some time, and this hostile mob farm don't produces any hostile mobs anymore. Um, down below here, one of the platforms I died on, there are hostile mobs. So that works, and on a creative test world, because I wanted to test something out, um, there uh, I made a platform right here, and no mob spawns at all. But I did a platform uh, way out here. Let me fly over there. Uh, I wanted to get uh, so far away, so we don't have um, any longer the base in range. And see, we get mobs. So, whatever it is, I don't know, but hello, <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> Fall right into the sun. Um, so, whatever it is, it prevents mobs from spawning at our base. It happens. But fortunately, um, it is not all over the world. Um, the Nether is also a region um, that's not mob proof at all. Oop. Did I get you? I hope so. Um, I'm just collecting different type of oop, keep it to me um, different type of mobs right now <laughs> because we don't have them anymore. Ooh, uh. Give oh good hello. Oh, I want to catch good. Come here. <laughs> Boom. That happened. Um, okay, now we have a creeper. We have a zombie. We have a skeleton. We have our enderman. Unfortunately, we don't have good. Let's see if we can get a spider. Uh. Okay, we got a spider. Um, I think that's all we need for now. Head back to where we came from. I think that is the correct direction. Okay, so <clears throat> we have to do something about that. Yeah, there's our base. Um, so with, with no longer any hostile mobs spawning at the base, um, the hostile mob spawner over there is obsolete. So this thing can go away. Um, not today, but I will tear it down in the near future. Um, as you saw right now, I crafted a few of the soul vials and uh, grabbed basically a few mobs. Uh, what I'm most interested in right now is the Enderman. Because we want to look into Ender.io. Um, I, I think I said it last episode already. Uh, we want to take a look at Ender.io and I want to automate a few things with Ender.io, especially Ender.io here, the spawner thingy, this thing here. Whoa, I'm in creative. Okay, the things are gone. Now we should, yeah, now we should see the recipe. So I will use this, um, the spawner and I looked a little bit into it. To make this operate, we need, um, it's shown somewhere, <clears throat> hmm. um, you need a nutrient distillation or something like that you make in this uh, vat. Uh, basically, you boil different, um, different things together with water and then you have different uh, distillations and we need the nutrient distillation. Uh, we can make it out of uh, rotten flesh, zombie heads, stuff like that. So um, this is the area here uh, that is empty right now. And here I want to install this new artificial mob spawner. Um, and I will try to get all the pieces together we need for it. And um, then we will see us again when I start building. See you in a second. It's a time for some slaughtering.
Ah, I must have done terrible things to the mighty Minecraft gods that I'll be punished so hard. <laughs> uh, guys, it's now almost two hours later uh, and I still didn't make any progress. I extended the mob spawner over there by a lot and um, I figured I need an enderman head to build a few things from the NRIO stuff. You look here, the soul binder needs an enderman head, the slice and splice needs uh, and now not? L let's look at the soul binder. I, I was farming for hours and hours and hours um, and uh, I didn't have any luck with getting an, the correct sort of enderman head. As you can see here, I have enderman heads but from the mod head crumbs and it is the wrong mod and it didn't work and now um, the recipe seems to work it's really weird okay let's let's see let's see we want to build the soul binder can we do it no we can't soul binder you see here the solarium the enderman head it even looks wrong um, creeper head there zombie head skeleton head machine thingy and it didn't work so these heads won't work for our purpose um, and our regular sword which is gone this one even with beheading only leads to the wrong heads so this won't work either um, I tested it in the creative world, creative world. The only thing that sh that seems to work is the Ender from Ender IO. So to improve the weapon a little bit, a little bit, I empowered it already with uh, vibrant crystals and um, capacitors and stuff like that. And now I want to enchant it even more to have an even more powerful weapon. Therefore, I built the enchanter and the anvil, both of the Ender IO stuff with this. Um, with this dark steel something here there it's just obsidian iron and something else uh, coal so and now we can enchant and we can enchant um, exactly what we want to so we want first of all um, looting and sharpness I skipped sharpness somehow I guess mm, well sharpness is um, is nether quartz so all we need is a book and the correct amount of materials in this case 60 for sharpness 5 um, and we need uh, 29 levels we can get it from over here we have them all stored up and they won't won't be enough I guess so we have now sharpness 5 um, the other thing was um, what was it Oh yeah, three heads. Uh, I put them away. I'm so distracted. Uh, it's it's really it's a punishment to farm for two hours and nothing happens. <laughs> so three heads. Another book which I left over here. Good. Try it again. Uh, a book and looting three forty levels. These won't be enough. Bum, 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 bum. And we are run out of levels. Fortunately, we have uh, another two tanks. Well, oh, wrong chest. Here. Oh, just one. Oh, man. This won't be enough, won't be enough, won't be enough. No. But we have tanks with... Uh, resonant here, these, um, the, it's the same stuff basically. But I reckon we can't use it. Let's see. If we right click it, what happens? Nothing. We can't empty it into this one because it's simply um, the wrong thing. Uh, what can we do to have it ex as player experience? Um, I have to figure something out. Uh, we'll be back in a second. 
Uh, guys, I can't figure it out. The effort I have to put into it is way too high for the course. So I won't uh, roll with it. I will just use the sword I have with the sharpness on it. Um, I brought... Whoop, I brought a looting tool and the anvil with me. And uh, now hopefully we will get an enderman um, and with another 11 levels I can put the book um, on the sword. So let's see what happens and I will be back with you if I am lucky with a enderman hat. Oh boy, <laughs> I think I found one. Okay, this looks like the one I need. Give it to me. Ender I.O. Yay! Oh boy. <clears throat> okay, at least we have what we wanted and what we needed. And now head back to the base and see that we can do what we intended to do for today. See you in a second. Everything should be ready to go now. Let's hope for the best. So, what we first need is the slice and splice. I explain to you why. We can build it. We built it with the zombie head. Okay. Don't do something stupid now. Now we can build it with the right head. Build it. Thank you. We need a pirate spawner. We can't build that right now because we need this z logic controller. And that we can only make in the slice and splice. Um, I will place it just here for now. Slice and splice. There you go. Receiving energy. Nice. Um, X. Shears. What was it? Ah, oh, I don't have a head left. Ugh. Grab the head. <laughs> Man, we made almost nothing today. Ah, oh, such a pain. This year. This year. This year. Oh, it instantly begins to slice. Okay, at least we have this. Thanks. So, um, no crafting table down here. Let's head up back again. Okay, the powered spawner. No. Why not? What's missing? Another head. Give me another head. There you go. Powered spawner. Build it. Nice. Oh. Okay, we did it. Um, the soul binder. We need the soul binder to uh, to change the spawner. Let's see. They should be somewhere. Spawner. Broken spawner. So this is right now a broken blaze spawner. Uh, we need a enderman spawner. And 15 levels. Oh, I have 15 levels. Use player XP. I will. And now what? Hello? Oh, it's doing its thing. Okay. Let's wait. Any moment now. The particles should seize. There they're gone. Enderman spawner. Great. So now we have a broken Enderman spawner. <laughs> it sounds, sounds really stupid to say, Way, it's broken. Um, and now, okay, this is um, a terrible idea. Active with signal. Let's place, I uh, have no idea where. Oh, 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 I read it. Uh, let's see, let's see. In an anvil. Broken spawner, powered spawner, 30 levels. Are you kidding me? Okay, won't happen today. <laughs> <sighs> um, okay, I have to figure out a way how to re how to um, convert all the mob essence. And we have um, over 100,000 millibuckets. There's, that is 1,000 buckets? I have no clue. Something in that. So we have a lot, um, <laughs> and uh, I have to convert it so uh, we can we can use it as player XP. So we can use stuff like that for this. But this won't happen in this episode because we are already running late. But we did at least a few things 
not at um, not even close to what I intended to do, but we did something <laughs> and we did something new. Yay, progress. So <laughs> if you liked it, despite the fact that we didn't make any progress at all, well, not really, um, please like the episode if you did and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that already. And we will see us again in the next episode. Take care of yourself, guys. Bye bye.